Hi, are you an electrician and wondering how to charge for labor or installation fee for electrical contracts or jobs? Join me as I provide some tips on what to consider in pricing your labor so you can make the most out of your projects. My name is Awal Saki Mohammed. Pricing electrical jobs, especially labor, could be burdensome to even some experienced electricians. When it comes to pricing for, for labor or installation fee, people have different theories. In my view, lack of knowledge in this area has given some electricians and even artisans in general a bad name. Some artisans always resort to surplus materials, which is meant to be for the client, in order to make up for the mega labor fee that they have charged. It is my hope that you desist from that attitude after watching this video. Before I proceed, please take time to follow all these social media net platforms so you can get regular updates on my activities. The fear of not getting called back makes it difficult for artisans to demand for a call-out fee before visiting a site. Don't worry. When you are called to assess a premises in order to provide an estimate, please try to keep records of the time spent and other expenses that you have incurred and are likely to incur, leading to the submission of the quotation and even completion of the work. Some of these costs are your transportation cost, time spent in preparing the takeoff and the estimate, transportation cost to complete the work, sometimes accommodation, rental of equipment, and sometimes purchasing of electricity or rental of generator for cutting of your walls. These expenses are what we call overheads for a three bedroom house located in Adenta, for instance. Let's say you arrived at an overhead cost of 800 cities. You estimated that you need four guys to complete a conduit work in three days. Therefore, you decided that you pay each electrician an amount of 150 Ghana cities a day. This means you'll be paying 600 cities for labor for each day for four days. That will amount to 2,400 cities. The next thing to do is to decide how much profit you want to make from the work. You can do up to about 15% of your overhead plus labor, depending on the circumstances. Assuming you decide to do 15%, what it means is that your profit is your overhead plus your labor multiplied by 15%. Remember, your estimated overhead is 800 cities. Your labor is 2,400 cities. So if you multiply this by 15%, your profit is 480 Ghana cities. Now your total labor becomes your overhead plus your labor plus your profit, which in this case is 800 cities plus 2,400 plus 480, which is, makes it 3,680 Ghana cities. As you know, a Ghanaian will always ask for a discount any day. And so I will suggest you run up your figures to about 4,000 so that when the client demands for a discount, you will still be within your expected fee. I hope this helps you in making the most out of your electrical jobs. You can always contact me if you want training or guidance on how to price formal contracts. Thank you very much.